Hello, it's Carolyn from The Purple Poncho. Today, I'm really excited to show you how to make this Tunisian crochet pearl stitch. To begin, I'm using a clover Tunisian crochet hook in the size L or 8 millimeter. And I have attached a stopper to the end, although I probably don't need it for this sample. I'm also using this yarn, Vernet Beyond, and it's a super bulky number six yarn weight. So please follow along whatever pattern that you're using, uh, whatever yarn and hook size that they are requesting, and also the stitch count. So just to show you how I'm making this, I'm actually going to take off the attachment here. Okay. So if you're making something that has a lot of stitches, you can attach that and then you can have your stitches keep going. I'm just going to do a small sample here. To begin the Tunisian crochet pearl stitch, I'm just going to chain a few stitches here so you can see how to make it. Just a small sample. So to begin, flip your chain over and pull up a loop in the next back bump, okay, because this first stitch counts as your first stitch on the end. I'm going to tighten that first stitch down a little bit. Okay. And continue by pulling up a loop in each back bump. This is the back side of your chain. And this is the way I like to start my Tunisian crochet projects. It leaves a nice edge on the end. See how it has that nice chain chain look? Okay, so that is our forward pass to pick up the loops. On the return pass, yarn over and pull through one loop on the end and it makes a chain. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. This is going to be the same return pass for the entire stitch, every time you do the stitch. So we have a Tunisian simple stitch, and now to start the pattern repeat and the purl stitch, we're going to bring the yarn across the front of your hook and come down and insert your hook from right to left and then bring the yarn around to the back side of your hook, yarn over, and pull through. So bring the yarn down, insert your hook in the next vertical bar from right to left, bring your yarn to the back of your needle or hook, yarn over, and pull through. And it makes this little knot here making the stitch. It's very pretty. So bring it down, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. We're leaving all the loops on the hook as we go across. Yarn over, and pull through. Bring the yarn across the front, bring it down, insert your hook, bring it to the back and yarn around it, around your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Bring it down, yarn over. Okay, so when you get to the end of your row and you have one stitch left, if you kind of rotate it, you see there's a little V on the side. We're going to insert our hook under that V, going through both of these loops on the end. Yarn over, and just pull up a loop. Okay. And then the return pass 
is the same as before. Yarn over and just pull through that loop on the end which makes a chain and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and repeat that all the way across until you have one loop remaining on your hook. So we'll do one more row. Okay, so this loop on your hook represents the first stitch on the end. So we're not going to go underneath that first stitch. We're going to be working under the next stitch. So bring your yarn down or in front. Insert your hook. Yarn around your hook to the back and back to the front. And pull up a loop. Wrap it around and pull up a loop. And that's how you make the Tunisian pearl stitch. Okay, and then on the end, we have one uh, stitch left. I'm just going to go through both loops on the end, yarn over and pull up a loop. Also, it's a good idea to count your stitches when you're picking up your loops to make sure you haven't missed any stitches across. Okay, so return as normal all the way across. And let me show you how to bind off. So once you've made your number of rows that you need for your pattern, you need to finish off these top stitches so you're going to do the exact same stitch pattern, bring it down, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then slip stitch right off. Okay, so we are only going to have one loop, one live loop on our hook as we bind off, binding off each stitch individually, and then slip stitch. Bring it down, yarn over around, pull it through, and then slip stitch. And it's making a nice chain on the top as well, so you have matching ends. And you just do that all the way across. Same exact pattern. And slip stitch. More stitch in pattern repeat and on the end going through both loops again yarn over pull up a loop and slip stitch and then end off your yarn. Isn't that pretty? So that's how to make the Tunisian pearl stitch. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this beautiful stitch. I'd love for you to hit subscribe and the notification bell to get notified of new videos coming to my channel. Thank you for being here and thank you for crocheting with me. Have a great day.